Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Retro Computer Kid Chris channel. I um, must apologise, this is a very brief uh, game review. Absolutely busy over the last couple of weeks with work and everything. So, but I will, I do, and I do promise that I will do more reviews, okay? Uh, the first game of the day is Granny's Garden on the Spectrum. Incidentally, this game was also on, originally, the BBC Micro and Obviously, this sort of game is also also got on other platforms like Amstrad. I'm not sure about Commodore 64 though, but okay. Let's move on to our first review. Yes, just up. Yes. <laughs> a magic tree here. Basically, it, this was like a, an educational bit of software. If anybody doesn't remember Granny's Garden, then where the hell have you been? But anyway, it's probably many people from the uh, from the eighties that remember it. So, but any later to continue. Uh, let's go for C. Which do you think it is? Three, 3D. <laughs> Put that first off. Sorry, D3. You have to find the magic in the trees. A1. Oh, it's not my lucky day, is it? So the next one will be C two. God, it's not my lucky day today, is it? <laughs> I'll try C one. I think you have to go through finding each tree and finding there's any magic. There's no magic. Cool. B uh, one then. Oh no, I'm probably thinking you only get so many tries on this, so. Two. A2. Obviously, what makes me wonder is if they could have this software, this is like educational software, right? If this is running on the Sinclair, anything like that. I suppose. The reason why the BBC didn't go for Clive Sinclair's uh, Selic Spectrum purely because it, to me, to me, they, they look really flimsy. They look like they get damaged quick and broken quick. That's why they chose the BBC system because it it looked robust. And trust me, when I were, when I was primary school, the amount of knocks that that our, that the BBC at our score got was unreal. It still worked. They were made to last, unlike the computers nowadays. Anyway, stick to the rubber, stick to the subject, you know. B two. There is no magic. Well, it's got me an M three. Anyway, moving on. A three. Yep. We're there. Uh... 
Jesus, I remember the password. How long ago is that? Can you see a cave? Yes. We've well, got to remember it. You can't really type quick on it. Cause it's just, do you want to go in? Yes. You are inside the secret cave. Flash, flash, flash. The king and queen of the mountains have been locked. I'll let you. So basically, this mission we have to do is you have to rescue the kids and the queen and the king queen. Even in the, even in the early eighties, the graphics <laughs> they were good. <coughs> you know what I mean? They, they were they were good. And to be honest with you, it captivated your imagination. Would you like me to tell you what we'll time? Yes. We must go to the woodcutter's house. Well, that's obvious. The word is on the wall. Well, you're seeing that. Seeing it there. That's what's that's what's so confusing. You got all that facing that way. It's like It's very dark, but you can see. What's oh, it? One of the mentioned is if you touch everything, it's booby trapped. You can see a cupboard, the back room, the kitchen, and some stairs. If I do that, the witch will get me. I don't know. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel, isn't it? Oh, game over. 